Skinwalker Ranch is a place in uh, the Uinta County region of Utah, northern Utah. And it's an area that had Native Americans living there in the past. And it, it, they, the, the natives that live there have always said that there's been strange stuff in that entire area, not just the ranch itself, the entire area has cryptid activity, Bigfoot activity, orbs, UFOs, and all of this that's associated with those phenomena. And uh, Skinwalker Ranch is a place that, you know, people who've lived there have reported these sorts of phenomena, really, really strange UFO and cryptid phenomena, things that could become invisible, things that could move into your house without you seeing them rearrange things in the kitchen, move furniture around. We've all heard these stories about Skinwalker Ranch from the Shermans. I mean, their name is public now, so I guess it's okay to use it. And uh, the Shermans who lived there before, and they sold it to Robert Bigelow, who created NIDS, this institute, you know, National Institute of Discovery Sciences to study the ranch. And then uh, some books were written while Bigelow owned the ranch uh, including Knapp and Keller Hunt for the Skinwalker, which has a lot of these incidents uh, told retold in there. And then more recently, the ranch was bought by uh, someone that Robert Bigelow knew, also from the Salt Lake area, Brandon Fugel, who uh, put his own research team there, and they created this TV series, Secret of Skinwalker Ranch, and they've been doing their own research. And I got interested in it because, well, it's an area I've driven by many times on my way back and forth throughout the West, traveling to Utah and so forth. Um, but if you look at that most recent book by James Lukatsky and Knapp and Keller called Hunt for the Skin, uh, excuse me, Skinwalkers of the Pentagon, I mean, that is really a mind blowing book. And I think a lot of people have trouble accepting what this former missile analyst for the Defense Intelligence Agency, Lukatsky, I mean, these people, they normally don't make things up when they're analyzing enemy missile systems for our government, for the military, to look at how to defeat enemy technology. I mean, we trust them 100%, right? But here, Lukatsky, who's head of the, so the OSAP program, Advanced Aerospace Weapons Systems Application Program, I think that's what the acronym stands for nicknamed a tip as we're told though there's some controversy of this i mean he hears about these weird things going on out there from bigelow or from someone associated with bigelow uh and he feels like this should be studied so they go out there and the osap team which was initially like a ufo study program and this is classified research, by the way. I mean, this isn't something that they're just sharing with anyone in, in the Pentagon. But they go out there, and what that book is known for, Skinwalkers at the Pentagon, the reason it has that title is, look, some of the research analysts who were working out there, who've now come forward, we know some of their names now, said they saw these cryptids and weird phenomena out there and creatures that we don't have names for. I mean, things that you would almost imagine coming from another dimension and seeing these things temporarily, then they're vanishing. Dogmen, I guess, as we would call them, you know, werewolves. We don't have really good names for these sorts of life forms. But they claimed that, and th this is really astounding, they saw them when they went back home to their previously ordinary, you know, normal Maryland suburbs outside of Washington, D.C. They would see these creatures and not only would they see them, I mean, their kids would see them, the kids' friends would see them. And they describe in this Skinwalkers at the Pentagon this kind of contagion effect. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.